Last month I've worked less, earned more and spent as much quality time with the family as possible. So let's talk about how all of this came together. <laughs> What's up, buddies, and welcome to a new devlog episode. It's actually already Ju It's already August, and we're talking about July. Last month was really interesting because I basically took half of the month to only use half of my time. And I like less than half of the half as well as you deserve. Uh, which means I didn't make a lot of progress, but I became a lot smarter about the things that I did. I tried to put all the things that I usually do in a full week into those half days or half weeks, because I took time for my family. My daughter is at home from her uh, kindergarten, so we had three weeks at home and we just managed this dynamically and one thing that really helped me was time boxing I already said last time that I want to use time boxing more often and I definitely did so I planned my week using time boxing using the different slots in my calendar to see I'm gonna work on this here and this here and this here and I also immediately added the blockers to different days so taking the whole Friday off because we went to a funny park which in the end made me really sick but having those blockers in my calendar I could see how much time I actually had and this is really important to plan your week so you don't get frustrated about not making any progress. Once you got all those slots in there, you see actually how little time you sometimes have for different tasks. So you become a lot smarter about doing the work and once it is time to work on something, you're actually a lot more focused because you know you only got like one and a half hour, two hours for a specific task. So when you sit down, you don't open Twitter or you don't read news, you immediately get into that task. And that really helped me too work less while still achieving actually most of the things that I wanted to do. Additionally, if you want to save time, you can not only use time boxing, but you can also try to repurpose the things that you already do. So for example, I know a lot of people doing streams or videos, they take clips from that content and repurpose this for shorts, for Instagram, for TikTok and something like this. It's the weird <laughs> squiggle that's like an, for and, anding, right? Okay. And. Yeah, two of those, two of those. And you don't have to be a streamer, you don't even have to create some kind of content but this idea of repurposing something that you already do can be quite helpful. For example, maybe you're into carpeting and like to do tables, then you could take your tables and later sell them and you can just repurpose the things that you're already doing. And there are really a lot of different fields where you could apply this repurposing to either save time or earn more money. So if you wanna be smarter about your time, also think about repurposing things. For me, I also became a bit smarter about my streams. So I said I wanted to have a weekly live stream and eventually in the past, the last five, six weeks, this was really hard because I prepared the topic and it took quite a lot of time to come up with things, basically just like another video. So now in the last streams, what I did instead is I said we're gonna do a community project together and we're gonna do it freestyle. For today, I don't know how far we will get, but this makes the whole streaming thing a little bit easier for me. Yes, this is a bit more scary and if I do uh, any kind of back on the stream and are stuck, it's gonna be a lot more challenging. But at the same time, I can just pretty much think 10 minutes about the stream, about things that we wanna do and then just do the stream, which gives me a lot more like, a flexibility and I don't need to have another two or three hour block in the week to actually prepare that stream. And on top of that, of course, I highly recommend you drop unimportant things if you're short on time. For me, currently, this means especially dropping Instagram because anyway, the Instagram, uh, the whole Instagram engagement currently seems to be very low, maybe because it's summer, uh, maybe it's also because of the transition through Instagram just being the new TikTok, I don't know, but at the same time, Instagram and TikTok are currently not that important to me, so I mostly drop that support, which allows me to focus on creating YouTube content, creating the podcast, and running my project. If you also wanna work less, be smart about your work, plan your work, estimate your tasks, and once you get to work, really focus 100% on it so you get into the deep focus state as fast as possible. doing less is pretty easy you can just do less and you will probably also earn less but it's challenging to do less and also earn more which means you have to become very creative so for me this means making more 
of what I already do. And this also came from the strategy week I had at the end of June or something. I just want to make more of all the assets that I have built up over the time. That means number one, I'm actually working on a sponsored post. I reached out to a few companies, probably one of them is this company, and we're working on cool material. So this material will be here on the channel, on the blog, and it will be about things you will definitely love. I can promise you, I'm not gonna promoting any crap to you. This is really companies, brands, services that I like to use and that you definitely also like. But on the other hand, I'm also billing those companies and that means I earn money from the content that I would kind of do anyway, but I would do a different kind of content and now I'm doing it about their platform, their services, and you're gonna benefit in the end as well. So it's a win, 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 I think. Also, I'm always telling you that I'm not gonna accept any clients anymore and then at some point I think like, well, maybe this one client that looks pretty cool. So yeah, I'm reconsidering my options here, but I'm not doing any kind of client work. I'm not doing something like, can you please fix my button? I'm currently looking for higher paying clients with probably even long-term contracts. That means once again that I'm trying to make more of what I do. I already did or do a bit of consulting, but now I'm taking it to another level, which means I'm gonna make more from the time that I'm investing. And finally, I also closed the early bird phase of Ionic Blocks, the project I started, I think, at the beginning of the month. So the early bird phase and I sent out another email, which was once again a kind of smart move because it's always the same uh, when you announce a project and when you announce that the price will increase or something those are usually the days when you make the most sales so with that one email i made another 10 or 15 sales which again was being kind of smart about the things that i already have so if you want to earn more don't just think about okay i need to invest more time i need to do this more or that more maybe also think about how you can become smart about the things that you already do i already set the example maybe you're a carpenter and like to do tables and then sell them maybe you like to play games okay probably start streaming and eventually you're gonna become a successful streamer so there's always the element of making more from what you already do or repurposing the things that you already do and you can become really really smart about this field um no server side rendering wrapper dot what is it jsx right jsx and love how you're absolutely not sticking to the react naming conventions there <laughs> <laughs> we've gone with a, we've gone with a nice snake case there i think it is and react components are very much pascal case but you know you you do you it's fine you do no, no. You. the third piece of our equation of work less earn more enjoy life is the last part and enjoying life is sometimes not that easy i get it but you can definitely do something to enjoy your every day more and currently this means for me accepting that it's not the time to work 80 hours on something but instead it's the family time it's the vacation time it's the summer time it's the time to take things a bit more slowly Hot time, summer in the city. I still got the rest of the year, I got the winter, I got the cold month, I got the fall, um, where it's definitely time to work a lot more because weather outside is not good, but right now is the time of the year in Germany where we finally have a bit of sun, so I really want to use that time. And because my daughter is at home, this means we can make the most out of this time. So in order to not fall into panic in those weeks when you get like perhaps just 10, 20 hours done, I like to tell myself that slow progress is still better than no progress. For example, I <laughs> told you that I want to use uh, work on the static side, well, I just made progress on one page, but still, I made a bit of progress. I wanted to initially have some other projects finished already. Well, I just made the first steps, but it's okay. I'm still in time, there's no stress, and slow progress is better than no progress. This also comes down to finding solutions. For example, the problem with the streaming, which cost me too much time in the beginning and was really taking a toll on my weekly planning. So I found the solution with this creative stream where we just do something cool together. And it immediately took like two, three hours per week off my plate. So I could rather see this as a shortcoming, not having a time to prepare a good stream. Or on the other hand, see it as a genius idea to save time and still have an even better stream. Hmm, win-win. So sometimes it really comes down to your perception of the things. And right now to enjoy life, I just like to tell myself, take things slowly. It's summer, enjoy the time. It might not be summer where you're living or you might not have the relaxed time that you wanna have, 
but just remember you can still work in seasons you can work in a very focused motivated season and then you can have a bit more relaxed season and once you accept you're in one of those certain seasons it's actually easier to accept how the days and the weeks and probably also the month play out for you and the tasks and the things that you have planned i hope you enjoyed this little look behind the scenes look into simon's brain and what simon is currently doing and if you did it please leave a like and of course subscribe to the channel for more developer logbook episodes in the near future as always if you get any questions please let me know in the comments and until then yours sweating summer captain ionic